Welcome to assessment task number four, which is going to be the exam. And I'm going to tell you now that I get really overexcitable about exams because exams can and should be huge amounts of fun. So here's the deal. You have studied 60 points worth of assessments. You have done 13 weeks worth of content. You have been through the training necessary for you to do this exam. And here's the good bit of news for you. The exam is set up specifically to assess and grade your knowledge of the course. Now it's not a trick, it's not a trap. There is no hidden level, there is no end of level boss. What this exam is about is one question worth 20 marks that everybody in the course does. It is the compulsory question, everybody competes. That question is going to ask you to use your knowledge of the whole of the subject. The question will be set up so that you can draw on the prior assignments. The examples from, will come, in the exam can come from either essay, the short essay or the long essay. Particularly for the major question, for the 20 mark question, is the style of answer that you're giving is going to be a similar written style that you were trained on in assignment two. So you've had feedback and practice on that. Secondly, part B of the exam is three 10 mark questions of which you do two. Now those two 10 point questions should feel a little bit familiar in terms of the way that assignment task number one and, and assignment task number three are written in terms of short, sharp question and answers. So again, you've been trained and prepared for this. You have been practicing for this exam. You've been ready for this exam for weeks before the exam. So this is why I want you to go in there and go in with a smile. Because look, I'm not there to trick you. I'm not there to hurt you. I'm not there to trap you. I want you walking in there, swaggering in there. The grin on your face, because that's where you want to be. There's nowhere in the world you'd rather be than that exam room because you're trained for it, you're ready for it, and this set of questions is there to let you show off. Let you show me what you can do with marketing theory that you've learned. So, with that in mind, I'm going to invite you to use the citations and references that you have been using in your past three assessment tasks, You've been asked to answer the question with citation reference. I'm inviting you to do it again. One more time. Bring the reference, bring the citation. When you write it out, when you're writing your answer, know who's influencing you and acknowledge that influence in your answer and put the citation down on the page. If you want to really show off, if you want to do something spectacular. Put the reference list at the back. Now that's a challenge. That's a straight up open challenge. If you think you're that good and you want to tell me you're that good, put the reference list down. Use the citations because you can and you want to and that you're going to enjoy this. That you are going to be putting out the essay, you're answering an essay because hey, I know this and I want to tell you my story, my take on your question. And not only am I going to do that, but I'm going to show you I am that good that I know my citations and my influences. I know my author year combo. I know when I'm writing an answer who my influences are. And I put that author and I'm going to put that year down at the end of that sentence. And I'm going to show you that I know this stuff and I'm that good. So this is your challenge. This is your opportunity. And this is why it's huge amounts of fun is I am writing questions for that exam that I want to see answered. I don't know what the answers are because I'm writing questions that I want you, I want to see your take on it. I want to see your interpretation. 
I am looking for style, knowledge, and impact. I want you to go in there confident because you should be confident. You are ready for this assessment task. You have been trained for it. You have gone through a series of exercises. The three assignments have given you the opportunity to learn and engage with the marketing materials you're being assessed on so it's sitting in your short, medium and long term memory. And that's both consumer behaviour in application and a good use of marketing. So be ready for it, have fun with it, above all else walk in there relaxed, confident and happy. Because when you're in an exam room and you look at the question and you smile and you grin, your engagement level's that little bit higher, your involvement's that little bit higher, you're a little bit more relaxed and you do that little bit extra and you do that little bit better and you have a better day of it. So go in with a smile because you're ready and it's going to be fun. It's going to be great.